Hello there everyone and welcome. It is Niran here and today it is time for the 40th episode of FIFA 17 career mode aka the Champions League final episode. Last time, hopefully yesterday, um, as this video goes up, I uploaded the finale for season 2 of the EPL season. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It'll be in the description. There'll probably be like a card or annotation on the screen because I, I will probably like release a spoiler at some point inadvertently during this video. But yeah, go and check it out. It was the final day of the Premier League season. Uh, sort of formatted like a match of the day style format where you check out all of the games happening on the day instead of just our perspective or our POV. Today we now need to focus on the Champions League, on European football, because we are playing Crystal Palace of all teams in the final. You can see the fixtures here. Uh, on aggregate, we, we won on away goals. It was 2-2, we won on away goals against United. Meanwhile, Crystal Palace won 3-2 on aggregate against Liverpool. They beat Liverpool at Selhurst Park 2-1. So, incredibly, the two overachievers of Season 1 are going to be facing each other in the Champions League final. Now, quickly before we get into this uh, Champions League game, I'll go into this in a little bit more detail when the game is done. But I do just want to say, as we keep, we've just had the same email four days in a row. I, it, like... You've got to understand, I do want, I do know that he wants to leave the Youth Academy. Anyway, um, before we get into this Champions League game, I'm just going to touch on something briefly, and that is the future of career mode on this channel. Um, it's obviously going to be continuing. Um, you know, there's, there's going to be career mode content in this guise, like just your standard career mode series on this channel. It's obviously going to continue forever. When this video is done, I'm going to have a break from this type of career mode content for two weeks in order to get myself together, in order to get ideas together, and in order to just generally make content of career mode type way better on this channel like i've got so many ideas but i need time to be able to implement them for another se another season of career mode when it comes to another season of career mode i am going to be changing things up i'm not going to disclose how i'm going to do it but i'm sure you guys may have known there was a there was a clue at the end of the premier league finale from yesterday again if you haven't seen that go and check out the end of the video and you'll probably be able to tell what's going to happen to the series or what's going to happen in the future well who would have thought this crystal palace versus hull City in the Champions League at the Allianz Arena, the Champions League final between these two sides. Who would have ever thought that at the start of this series in only season number two? I've tried to make sure that the squad lineup is full of players who've contributed the most in this series. Um, so the likes of Valkvist, Keane, Robertson, Asmoon, Cozielo, Afori, and Didi, all of those guys are starting this game. I've tried to do the same with the bench as well. So the likes of Hernandez, Omaruo, and Tep is now on the bench after his injury as well. Um, Oh my word, it is the Champions League final. I wasn't nervous until about five seconds ago. Inter Milan there, you could see in the quarterfinal losing out to Liverpool. Um, no reason for me mentioning that whatsoever. Nevertheless, Alan Pardew looks on. He's, he's I mean, in uncharted territory really is Alan Pardew. I don't, I don't think he's ever got a team to the Champions League final before. Interestingly, no Benteke. No Benteke. I saw that he was the second highest top goal scorer. In, um, in the Champions League this season, and he's not even starting the game. It's actually Conor Wickham. Didn't quite notice it as to whether Benteke is on the bench or not. That whatever happens, this is going to be a basically historic Champions League final between two very much former minnows of English football. This is so strange. It's not because it's not even as if Palace have had a financial takeover. They've not even got a squad that's that fundamentally good. Well, Stefaniak's won that in a dangerous position for Palace. He's found Ebenezer Afori with the strike, and he almost found the back of the net. What a goal that would have been from Ebenezer Afori. He's not exactly someone we associate with scoring many goals, although I think he scored twice in the Champions League already this season, and that was not too, too far away from smacking the top corner. Crystal Palace still haven't got into our half yet. This is quite astonishing. It's taken 17 minutes, and they still haven't managed it. I think they're about to now. There we go. For the first time in this game, I think... Crystal Palace are in our heart. I think, anyway. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Kabaye nodded down to Bernard, the very skillful Brazilian. Now it's to Lee Chung Yong. That's over towards Andros Townsend, trying to work some space. Back to Lee Chung Yong again. Good save, though, at the near post from Yvonne Mvogo from Lee's shot. And uh, it was at the near post. It's a shot that you'd expect Mvogo to save. And it's a, it's a save that he seems to make so often as well. He always makes these one-handed near post saves. He's just a very, very good shot stopper, is Mvogo. Genuinely, I think he's the best goalkeeper we've had in a career mode series as he plucks Scott Dan's header out of the air as well. 
He's, I mean, we've only had him for six months, so I can't judge him, you know, properly against any of the other the goalkeepers that we've had in the past that have been here for two seasons. But from what I've seen, you know, in terms of games to shots ratio, he's, or to saves ratio even, he has been the best, definitely. 28 minutes of relatively unenthralling Champions League football later, and it's still nil-nil here. Here's Ndidi, who's trying to try and change that. It's into Asmoon. Cosiello's got the run from Asmoon again, and he slides in and puts it in the back of the net. Sada Asmoon has got the first goal of this Champions League final, and it's a decent goal as well from the Iranian, just sliding in. The assist comes in from Cosiello. And Sardar goes over to celebrate with the whole City fans that made the long trip to Germany to watch their team potentially lift a European title. And Sardar has been sliding in just before Mandanda could get there. And he tucks it away into the bottom corner, as Sardar Asmoon always does. And we are 1-0 up in the Champions League final. I'm having... Oh, I'm having flashbacks to Leicester career mode. It's basically the same situation, isn't it? Where we win the league and then we go ahead and go into the Champions League final. We did actually win the Champions League final with Leicester City in FIFA 16. Did we play? I think it was Manchester United. We, so it was, again, it was an all English final. Essentially try the same tactic, go for the near post flick on from Asmoon. He's gone for it. He's won it in the air. It's down towards Bailey. It's scrambled around and just about clear, but only as far as a 4 Oh, Townsend's gone past Robertson there and he's got the pace to continue to get away from the Scotsman, ball into the box, but Mvogo just absolutely no holding back, clatters into Saint Just to get the ball. Crystal Palace look as if they've suddenly got a little bit more meaning in their play, but it's a little bit late in the first half because we have reached the break now, and it is 1-0. That half really has flown by, to be honest with you, even though not that much actually happened. Bit of keep ball here from Palace for the first time in a while. Michael Keane's trying to get towards Bernard, can't. It's back to Bernard again, Robertson trying to slide in. And it's just gone wide, thankfully. To be honest with you, every time Palace have actually got near our goal, they've looked threatening. It's just that it's not happened enough for them. Chung Yong Lee's coming off, and Wilfred Zaha. Yeah, I didn't even notice he wasn't playing, actually, but Wilf Zaha's coming on. And, uh, I expect him to cause some problems, although, you know, Chung Yong Lee also had a few uh, moments in the game. That shot from the save from Vogo. It's bobbling around the area. It's fallen to a Palace player, and it's in the back of the net, meanwhile. And it's Andros Townsend who has equalised for the London side. And I was blabbering about Lee, you know, Chung Yong Lee for some random reason. It's a different winger that scored for Palace. It's just one of them unlucky ones, really. It happens on this game quite a lot, but we just couldn't get the ball clear. Andros Townsend with the shot, and unfortunately it's hit the back of the net. The left-footed strike leaves Alan Pardew pretty pleased. They've definitely been the better team in the second half so far. We haven't really got going, to be honest with you, so it's a pretty deserved goal on the balance of play. So two Frenchmen come on. Paul George and Tep and Weil and Cyprian are on. Of course, this is in Tep's first appearance. Uh, appearance, appearance. Sorry, uh, in about three months, I think. Both him and Bailey were out for a similar amount of time. Meanwhile, Weil and Cyprian, who scored on the final day of the season, comes on and hopefully he can get another goal as a substitute. Palace have just started chucking players forward. If I was them, I would not be doing this right now. I mean, I might get proven wrong, but they, I mean, they've just got back into the game. It's not as if, you know, they're behind and they absolutely need to start doing this. You know, there's extra time and penalties if it comes down to it for Palace to just take their time and be more conservative. Three minutes of injury time has probably elapsed at this point, but, uh, and indeed it has. Ball goes over towards Ntep, but it's 1-1 at the end of normal regulation time. This is going to go to extra time at least. There's going to be another half an hour. Yeah, Tompkins is still sat up front for Palace at the moment, so they are still on all-out attack, it would appear. And that's through towards Tompkins. Now to Bernard. Oh, that was a risky challenge, actually, from Keane. Oh, no, a four. He's lost that in a dangerous position. A four. He's lost that in a really dangerous position, but it's gone wide, thankfully, from Tompkins. As you can see, there's a man over here, and it's Leon Bailey, who's got acres of space. Leon Bailey's got a chance here to get a second for ourselves. Hits it straight on Mondanda. Bailey was actually taken down there in the aftermath of the shot, but... Uh, Nothing given from the referee, and Palace can now counter with Bernard. Got Townsend for support. Robertson goes for it and just about gets the ball, thankfully, for us. Now over towards Valkvist. Bailey's making a run down the wing, and it's a simple run from Leon Bailey, but he's well away from Pape Suarez. He's got the pace to stay away from him. He's going to try and put a ball into the box. Oh, and it deflects almost in as well. It's gone all the way through to Paul George and Tep. Now it's to Wyland Cyprian with the strike and it's deflected in. Wyland Cyprian scores again for Hull City. He's going to go and celebrate with the substitutes. And it's 2-1 right on the edge of half time in injury or in extra time, sorry. Wyland Cyprian scores. It's deflected again. We almost scored through the deflection from Bailey's 
cross, goes all the way through to Entep, he passes it to his countryman Cyprian, and he just blasts it on the second attempt, and it's come off Scott Dan. And that would have been a simple save as well from Undonda. Oh, he's lent into it, it's actually come off his arm, so I think in, in all, to all intents and purposes it's actually karma that um, Scott Dan's tried to block it with the arm and it's actually gone in off his arm. It's uh, quite ironic really, but the whole City players, the whole City fans are celebrating. Goes right on the cusp of half time in extra time. We take the lead through Wyland Cyprian. We were saying he scored as a, as a substitute on the final day of the Premier League season to wrap up our win against Newcastle. And he's now scored what could potentially prove to be the winner in the Champions League final. We'll have to wait and see. Ball in towards Junozovic, but headed away. Now Bernard. That's into Kabaye. Good passing into Zaha. Good shot there, to be honest with you, from Wilfred Zaha, but Vogo's able to pluck it out of the air and lumps it forward towards Hernandez, who's won it in the air. Bailey, there's a man over, and it's a fourie, and he's in a great position. I'm not going to tramp it. I might regret it, but a fourie goes for the shot, and it's a great save from Mandanda. Pape Suare being shepherded by Bailey, but he's managed to get past this man. That's in towards Zaha, but the chest control is heavy. Cozier is going to try and win in the air, but Scott Dan gets there. Everyone's forward for Palace now. There's a foul there on, I think that was that Zaha or Pape Suare. And we're right into the depths now of injury time in extra time. kabaye has got nothing left, but he's going to take it anyway. He's going to go for the shot, he does, and it's well over the bar. And that is the end. That is the end of proceedings. That free kick is the final action of the game. And we have completed the double. To be honest with you, my, my feelings are slightly muted because I've seen a lot of comments saying that it's, it's a little bit boring seeing us win all the time. And I do understand that, but there's just nothing I can do. I've, I've tried with the AI sliders. It's just one of those things. So we're just going to have to enjoy the moment and understand that. You know, this might not happen in real life, but it's still an incredible achievement for this group of players, this group of relatively unknown players before the series started. have made themselves folk heroes, even, you know, just on this channel. People are always going to remember the likes of Kozielo and Stefaniak and Valkvist, and I hope that that at least is the legacy that's left, rather than we just came and won everything because the game was too easy. Nevertheless, we are the winners of the Champions League. That, I'm not going to lie, was a much tougher game than it looked as if it was going to be at the start of the first half. Palace putting in a lot of effort, but them going all out attack was what lost it for them. Nevertheless, Michael Keane will lift yet another trophy. It's the Champions League this time. Back-to-back -back trophies in back-to-back -back episodes for the Englishman to lift. And Captain Fantastic, who's been so good, to be honest with you, this season. The centre-back has been incredible. And Hull City are champions of Europe as well on the first attempt. The first time of asking, we've conquered everyone. And they are enjoying the moment, as they quite rightfully should. Everyone on that podium has had such a huge part to play in all the success that we've had this season. Even the likes of, you know, people who don't play as often this season, the likes of Shea Adams and Abel Hernandez. Shea Adams scoring that goal against Manchester United was absolutely crucial in this Champions League campaign. A four, he's been just fantastic and scored a few goals. All the defenders have been wonderful, and the fans quite rightfully can celebrate as well here at the Allianz Arena because it is Hull City who write their name into the history book as Champions League winners in the 2017-2018 season. Every single player there has done such an amazing job. And I'm happy to see them all celebrating. It is a 2-1 victory over Crystal Palace in probably one of the weirdest Champions League matchups that you'll ever see in terms of a final, but what a final it was. So there's your confirmation. Hull City come out as victors in the Champions League final in one of the... It probably a Champions League final that will go down as the underdogs final, probably. I think, I don't even at the start of the campaign, when I saw our group, I never thought we'd get to the final for a start. I didn't think we'd get out of the group, let alone reach the final or win the competition. And little did I think Crystal Palace would ever make it into the, into the round of 16. There you can see, though, how the title race ended again in the Premier League, just to confirm. Obviously, I didn't show the table at the end of the finale episode, so I thought I'd leave it till now. Just to confirm, then, Hull City, obviously, we took the title by one point after City drew to Arsenal. United did beat Crystal Palace 4-1, but ended up staying third. Spurs in fourth, getting the better of Arsenal, and Chelsea only finished sixth in the league. For anyone wondering as well, in terms of the other competitions, Manchester United won the FA Cup 1-0 over Chelsea in the final at Wembley. The EFL Cup was actually won by Stoke City 
uh, 2-1 over Leicester. Some interesting teams as well making it far. Wickham Wanderers getting to the quarterfinals of that competition, only to be beaten by the eventual winners. And in terms of the Europa League, it was SL Benfica, the Portuguese side, who came out on top against Real Betis in the final. The best representation in terms of England was West Ham but they got knocked out in the semis by the Spanish side. So, quickly, just reiterating on the future of this series, uh, Karimo content in this guise, in this sort of traditional Karimo series, is going to be taking a break from the channel, but only for two weeks. Two weeks, two and a half weeks, maybe. Because as, as I explained, I basically need to sort out how I'm going to improve Karimo content on the channel, how I'm going to change things, what I'm going to do from here, what new features I'm going to implement, and that's obviously going to take some time to come up with those ideas, and then you know make them implement them whatever do what I need to do in order to have them uh, for a new series basically there's gonna be there's gonna be a series on this channel that is half new and half not um, I know that doesn't make too much sense but it's gonna be it's gonna be new but it's also going to be within a universe you've already seen, if that makes any sort of, uh, if that helps any anyone come up, sort of understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, so there's going to be a new series, and there's going to be a totally new series, which is going to be Road to Glory. I might as well say that. I'm going to start a Road to Glory soon uh, as well. That'll be in two weeks. So both those new you know, and then half new series is going to start in two weeks. In between then, you'll, see, you'll still see content from me, tips videos, the box career mode. Um, and also failed Wonder Kids videos as well, and some other one-off videos as well in between. Those will all be up in the next two weeks. There just won't be any whole city career mode. That is the end from me. I hope you did enjoy this video. We've won the Champions League. It has been a wonderful season though, and I'm glad you all, you know, you've all enjoyed it. I want you to leave your feedback as well, if that if that's possible as well in the comment section about how you think I can improve career mode content on my channel, what features you'd like to see. If there's anything that you can think of, drop it in the comment section. I'm all ears, as always, to, you know, finding out ways to improve content on the channel. If you have enjoyed this video, though, of course, feel free to smash the likes button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. It has been a pleasure, though, ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. And goodbye. Yo, with the bang, with the boo Man can't fuck with a lot of them crew Put one, two, nine holes in the queue Wanna ride on me, you better change that brew I'm a lyrical animal straight out of the zoo Big mic man, big like big zoo Fifteen domino C on my own Done it all alone, I never been a ring true KYE the hardest YG, my G Better know he kicks like Kung Fu Try me, you must have won some